Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to the God of Weapons demo. It is a cross between Vampire Survivors and Backpack Hero, which sounds uh, really interesting, and I'm curious to see how this goes. I did a little bit of a test run and immediately was like, oh no, I'm, I gotta record this game. It is way too interesting for me not to. Mosquitoes do charge attacks. You know what? Why not? Uh, one thing I noticed about this genre, a lot of the enemies are pretty boring. They usually just walk towards you, so it's actually kind of refreshing when it's just like, oh, nope, now it is chaos. Oh, what is this? What is this? I want it. Floor is cleared and we get everything. Cool. I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to clear out a space like that and take a look at some of these things. Bounce chance. Spyglass, extra range, claw, agile, helmet, armor and recovery, and an ebony dagger, one damage for every 19 kills with this weapon. I think I'm going to snag that. That just seems too specifically useful. Oh, it's also sharp and swift. Or it gives a bonus for sharp and swift? Or no, this is sharp and swift. This is agile and swift. I see. So the tags underneath some of these items, for example, give you a set bonus. Let's see. Agile, dodge chance. Not much, though. Well, I don't have much for gold, so I guess we're just going to roll with these weapons for now. Yeah, I want the daggers, because if I can get those to get some kills, uh, I could see that getting really strong. Unfortunately, I think at the moment, the uh, the axe seems to be last hitting most things. Okay, let's avoid that. Oh, right. I have a dash. I should be using that. Ugh. Also, it doesn't look like I lose anything. Uh, let's see. So we have a, another dagger. Crit chance for each adjacent dagger. Ebony dagger. Yeah, why don't we, um... I'm going to sell that. Let's let's get Dagon. Okay, now I have just enough money if I want to get the belt. Vitality, armor, and movement speed. Do we want to? I could also go for the extra range. Let's go with that. There. Let's get stabby. I'm pretty sure there's like a Dota or a... Ooh. Slime should be really good with the daggers for this. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a Dota character or something that specifically has like a bunch of blades coming off their back. But I, for the life of me, cannot remember their name. I don't really play a whole lot of Dota. Yona. Um, yep, nope. Don't remember in the slightest. There. Let's just do that. What else do we have? Oh, no, I still have another level. Sick. I'll just keep expanding that. So we have a Sinister Mask, move speed, crit chance, reduce range. When consumed, restore 40% health, more enemies on the next floor. How wounded am I? Not very. We do have this. Polearm and life stealing. The only immediate problem is I'd have to figure out range, but it that might be worth it still. Okay. It is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's put these here. Put this here. I'm going to buy that just for the extra space. I don't know if we need the luck. What is luck useful for? Better chance of finding rare items. You know what? Uh, what's my attack speed? Two. Two percent faster. Oh, that's hardly a problem. Yeah, so let's start stacking a little bit of luck. See if we can get some rare items. Plus, who knows, that scythe might be able to kind of make up for my lack of HP. Plus, maybe going pole arms is not a bad move. It certainly has the range I'm looking for. Okay, avoid some of these. Break the barrels. Oh, that was... That was a lucrative barrel. Can we get a bunch of meat? There we go. I think that actually worked out really well. What is this one? 
I guess for now what I should probably do is get myself some more inventory space. So what is this? Sickle. Also life stealing. Uh, let's see. Life steal 15% if not placed near any other life stealing weapon. Now is the life steal for each? Okay, so we barely have any life steal. But this one's much better at that. Move these here. We haven't found too many more daggers. Because I could. I could try and get this sickle. Uh, can I? I don't have enough inventory space. I could make it work. Sharp life stealing. Range is 32 versus range is 50. I guess the question is, oh, it is a T2 weapon. The rest of these are T1. Have they actually gained much for damage? Two damage, two damage. So not like over much. So I could specifically get rid of this. It has sharp and life stealing. Uh, let's see. We do have sharp for a chance. Oh, I bet those are Q, maybe cumulative. Otherwise, let's let's just get the die. And then go for a reroll. See see what else we have. Well, oh, it's a T one sickle. Huh. Okay. Let's just be weirdos about this. So apparently, tears are slightly different from what I was expecting. All right, so 2% lifesteal is not much, but they do count as a set bonus, even if it's just a duplicate. Okay, so do we want to get rid of the spyglass? Sell. Because we could just get a spear as well. There, let's go for that. Because the daggers were kind of fun, but I think they were going to scale too slowly. Whereas, uh, I've got heckin' range now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I don't know if there's anything of merit in there. I think that just gives me a, a free defensive... or protects me from one attack. I'm going to assume that's the case. We might also want to scale our damage a little bit here. But that's okay. I'm so glad we don't have to worry about picking up EXP at the end of every fight, though. Uh, that part's super nice. I'm just going to kind of expand these, because we might find even longer pole arms. So what is this? Crystal ball, magic power? No. Claw? No. And then a double, uh, double-edged axe, which... If I was going axe, maybe. Vitality recovery, another ebony dagger, another one of those. Nope. I gotta take a look at these for each adjacent pull arm. Yeah, that part's kind of tough. These things are kind of huge. Let me see what I can do with this. Uh yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get two adjacent pull arms up in here. I'm going to put this outside briefly. Move this back in. There. Because that is 16 damage. 10 damage. Okay, so the higher tier is very worthwhile. Let's grab another die. And then just next floor. Yeah, I think this works. I think the scaling damage daggers would, would be fun, and I think I will go out of my way for a build with that at some point. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to be this one or not. Because I'm certainly enjoying uh, heckin' range full arm builds, just in terms of cutting through large groups of enemies. The daggers did not have that capability. Okay. Gotta be slightly careful. I mean, I get plenty of healing, though honestly, the uh, 
The sides are not as good as I was hoping they would be. Okay, so how are we go going to fit this in? Can I? I don't have enough space unless I specifically want to get rid of one of the spears. I suppose I could. There we go. Do we re-roll for anything? The problem is I don't have a whole lot of space. Wands, boots. Those boots are a little, a little big. And then we also have a prism blade. Chance to do fire or ice damage. Chance for each adjacent wand or staff. Ooh. No, I think I'm I think I'm just gonna make do with this. But I very well might actually start swapping these out. The sides are fun, but that's not a whole lot of life lifesteal. Like the sickles are considerably better for that. But I think the entire point is you're only supposed to have like one sickle. Though Credit where credit is due. The pull, like the the sides are incredibly good at clearing house. Is all the gold? I am very rich. Doesn't benefit me too much at the moment. Okay, choose up to four spaces. Ooh. There we go. So we do get another Crimson Scythe, if I uh, if I can even fit it. Really? Because what I need is one more space here. And that way I can move this over, have a couple of Scythes. Oh, but they do kind of prevent. Uh... Reroll. See if I get anything cool. Discount card. Do I care? I'll snag it. Another die. Hand crossbow, but no interesting set bonuses. Sinister mask. I'm just mostly hoping for, like, this. Tier 2 polearm. I was hoping this would be, this would fall a little bit more like League of Legends auto-battler rules. Uh, very specifically, I kind of wish that there were higher tier weapons. Uh, rather than just like, this is the slightly better scythe. Uh, just so there's more interesting things as part of the arsenal. Uh... Not that I strictly like hate the limita uh, the equipment limitations that we're running into in the moment. It just feels like it's a a bit thin, and I keep hoping I'm gonna find something really cool, and then it's mostly just slightly better than the last one. And so it almost feels like my entire goal is just to get a whole a uh, whole bunch of money, re-roll a bunch, and then replace all of my junky weapons with the purple variants therein. Which is okay. Uh, let's see. There it is. I might as well grab the sickle. Oh, it's a little longer than I thought it would be. There. Sure. Why not? Uh, do we even have enough inventory space for any of these? What is this? Ring of power. Sure. The problem is that's like 5% extra damage. It's not really that exciting. Great Demon Skull, though. Oh, T4 Sickle. Let's just grab that. Oh, it has even higher lifesteal. I guess the Crimson Scythes have a 10%. Uh, I'm just going to grab another die. I'm sure the Great Demon Skull is going to show up at some point again. Maybe. Yeah, I almost feel like I should have just gone with the daggers. And then just figured it out. 
They, because I would have had the scaling damage. Eh, maybe. Then again, that would be like maybe one to two points of damage per round. I think it's there, but those were basic daggers. If we see one of those go by that's like whatever the maximum tier is, then maybe. Like right now, it doesn't feel like most of these enemies are actually that tough. But maybe that bonus damage isn't actually terribly necessary. Okay, a little bit of damage, but I to, my life steals pretty good. My money is great. What is oh? Let's go for that, just because. So what is this melee power? Oh, that's just flat. An extra eight damage. Yeah, that is super worth it. Uh, let's see. One of those. One of those. We do have the boots again, but I don't know if movement speed really does much benefit for me. Magic power. Another ring of power. Uh, it's probably good enough. My inventory is getting full. Okay, so the the flat melee power items should should actually help tremendously here. Ugh. We got homing attacks. I think I think we have ourselves a boss and hurt and it's fine. Might not have been a boss. Okay, go over here, grab a nice ham dinner. Say be careful. There's no real care here, ow. Mostly just hang on and hope we don't take too much damage. While also going for as much healing as we possibly can, ow. Rude projectiles. Eesh. That one hurt. Uh, let's see. What do we have? We do have a Sinister Mask, move speed, crit chance, but reduce range. Nah. Don't care about that. We do have another spear. Let's see what I can do with this. Uh, let's see. Hmm. this here put these here no I'm not going to be able to get this spear in comfortably I can get it I was just hoping I could jam it in better what is this health game per floor exp Ooh. honestly I have so much money we're just going to get rid of the discount card else we have any of these my problem is what I want what I wish I could do is actually mush some of these together is there no fusion here the knight ah we get the extra melee power yeah, do we want another potion amulet kinda yeah it is all the rings of power that's a 10% damage loss in favor of some healing and more resource and HP gain. One thing is my scythe, or my scythe, my sickle might not be able to pull off as many attacks here as I'd like it to. Hey, at least, at least it's not a floor with a bunch of ranged enemies trying to go for me. 
that's where things get real stinky. Oop. And fortunately, I try and dodge to avoid the uh, range attack, and then I dodge into an enemy's attack instead. Not great. I think what this game needs, though, I like the backpack hero upgrades. I almost kind of wish it had some level of rotato level up passive moves that you could stack or something. Like not too much, just a little bit of a little bit of something to give you some extra features. Uh, and maybe maybe that's not terribly necessary. All oh, right, uh, got to keep doing this. There we go. Put that outside, move this here, and then move this back. There we go. Otherwise, yeah, mushing items together would actually be kind of swank. Okay, let's just get the great demon skull. What? Why not that one? But there's inventory space for you. Oh, there's not. Mm, there is. It's just not a square. There we go. Okay, that should be good enough. Unless I want to re-roll and see what else we get. Pierce, but that's only projectile weapons. Consumed. Increase one random stat. Elite at... Mm. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to solve the sickle. Let's just consume that. So there are passives. They're just kind of rare. Max health for each adjacent sword. Potion of healing. Bracer. Attack speed. But that's... Oh. Crit chance for each adjacent glove. It's kind of fun. I'm like, I could go for some more dice. What is this one? Melee power, but reduce lifesteal. No, thank you. More dice, more daggers. Better scythe. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to sell this one. Yeah, there's a bigger, better greatsword. But I think I'm good. Let's just get the, uh, let's just get that. Sadly, unfortunately, neither of those Dragon's Blood elixirs actually gave me any, um, any melee damage. I think I'm faster. Oh, that contact damage is not what I want to see. Also, I should no longer besmirch movement speed at this point. Yeah, I'd like to kill those elites, but we took too much damage too early. And it was a bit of a risk. Why is this over here? I have no idea. Not quite as good as I was hoping for. Small shield. Block 5 damage, cooldown 10 seconds. Nah. Winged boots. Actually pretty useful here. Do I have enough? Yes. I don't think I have any more inventory space, and rather than wasting a bunch of money, let's just go for this. Okay. I'm a little faster. Hopefully that'll help me avoid those those specific enemies. Right. 
punch that open. I mean, it's a shield. I like those. Okay, big ups on the boots. The second dash is nice. I'm... I'm less constrained by my need uh, to wait for the first one to regenerate. Because previously I could only dash after the one singular dash I had recovered. This way I have two individual cooldowns that I could actually work around. And that gives me a lot more immediate mobility. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got another one of these. Attacks damage, attack speed, movement speed. Oh, it's not melee damage. Still worth it. Okay, do we re-roll much at all? We have this. Life's, life stealing gloves. Oh, your attacks have a 16% chance of restoring 1 HP. Ah, that is considerably less cool than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that'll do. I definitely should go for an axe build at some point. I think we're kind of locked in on uh, full arm day. But I can see where some of these other, uh, where some of these builds would be particularly good. Okay, so you're the elite. Fortunately, these things have some uh, freaking killer contact damage. Like they have attacks, but then you touch them and it's even worse. At least my lifesteal so far has been keeping me hale and hearty. That and my amulets. Breaking those in case we get anything fun. The answer is nah. More amulets. Uh, keep doing that. Yeah, the arrowheads would be neat, but we're not using it. Oh, you know, looking at this now. Could I get another scythe in here? Almost. We just need one more inventory spot right there. I do have more of these amulets, but they're silly. Speaking of silly. Is there any way I could get a second skull in here? If I sacrifice the horn, I could. It's not terrible, especially because it's costing me luck. Let's do that. We'll have even more enemy uh have even more enemies than usual, but I think that's fine. There's also this spear here. Ah, uh, that that I can get in. I guess I'm gonna have to lose something. Lose one of my dice. There. More weapons, more kills. What is a cauldron doing? Well, cauldron? It's a well. A big well here, for reasons. Unfortunately, I think the enemies are getting a little on the tough side. That's something for me to potentially be wary of. I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I think I've seen enough of this game. I like it a fair bit. I think its big issue mostly boils down to there aren't enough items to actually make it super exciting yet. 
Uh, what it needs, honestly... Oh, there I go. What it needs is auto auto battler mechanics. Um, so it already kind of has that s the set bonuses, but what it needs is like tons of spears and like multiple types of pole arms, multiple types of daggers, each with their own unique abilities. Or if like you could add charms to weapons or something. Uh, just because unfortunately the way that worked was I was just adding more of the same. Uh, and maybe part of it was I was not running a particularly interesting polearm build to begin with. Ooh, this one's a little tougher. Fill that out. So we have the double-edged axe. How much money do I have? Enough for that. Crit damage for each axe or attack speed for each adjacent axe. I think we want the small axes. And we'll get the double-edged axe later. Because crit damage is nice, but we don't have much for crit. Let's go for axes this time around. The problem is it's for each adjacent axe. Which makes it a little tougher. To actually go for those full adjacencies. That I kind of want. I think I might still go for those daggers. Maybe. Because the daggers scale... Somewhat based on how many daggers you have uh, adjacent, but then also based on kills. Yeah, Ebony Dagger. What else do we have? Long Blade, but that's just additional armor, bounce chance, no set bonus on the hammer. I mean, crushing and throwing, whatever those get me. Uh, let's reroll. Because that's each adjacent axe. That's not super exciting. Short blade. Two damage for each other sword in inventory. Oh. Still. I think I'm going to go uh, just dagger spam. At least for this one. What I might try and do is actually only go for the daggers that scale based on damage and just get a bunch of those. Unfortunately, it might be one of those that we'd end up, uh, we might end up in trouble where, like, one of them is really strong and the rest are not so much so. And then try and scale my melee damage. There we go. Ugh. I don't think I killed nearly enough on that one. I'll just stack daggers for at least a little bit while we try and get this going. There we go. If you could fuse daggers together, that's the other one that would be handy. Do I go for the dice? Well, I bought it and then I immediately sell it. I did say I was going to go for a dagger build. Now, I wonder if it's on a per-weapon basis or not. I, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have oodles of these things, and we're, we're just going to have to back it up with a bunch of passives and just raw damage bonuses. Because, boy, if I could just have a bunch of daggers that one-shot everything, that would uh, solve issues, maybe. But... I really wish there were passive perks or something. Like, one per level, you get one perk. And, like, one choice between a couple of perks. And each of them has kind of a unique merit to them. There we go. We do have another one of these. Fire mace. Die. Here we have the belts. We have the life stones. What is recovery? Oh. 0.3 health per second. That's actually not terrible. Okay, let's just go to the next floor. Yeah, I'm probably just going to stack a bunch of these daggers. Ooh, 
Because, yeah, a little bit of regen is not actually that much worse than a chance at lifesteal. Okay, it, it's not great, though. Though we might have actually taken a hit there, so... figured out. You did only level up once there? Well, on the plus side. Move this here. We get another one. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, ebony daggers. So that has gained no extra damage. Oh. The more of we these we stack, the bigger the bonus. So you can actually just stack endless amounts of them. And they're both sharp and swift. Oh, that's kind of fun. And I like the devil horn. Oh well, too late. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get rid of... those other daggers and just go for the ones that scale. I guess the the thing is with this, we are going to end up with a decent amount of crit chance as well. I think crit both crit chance and attack speed. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that's not the best sign. At least we get two levels for it. A little bit more than that. Shield. Blocks 12 damage. Long cooldown. Never mind. Claw. Agile. Blessed. Um, I'm going to go use the healing potion. Yeah, going to get another one of those. Yeah, let's just... Let's just pile up my army of scaling daggers. Get that guy, because more enemies are good. Oh. I'll uh I'll figure out the spacing in a bit. Small army, indeed. Yeah, unfortunately, I think the damage scale is based on how many kills each of these individual daggers has gotten, which makes them slightly less cool. But if I can get a bunch of those horns as well, that should make life pretty interesting. Because then they'll have the base damage to kind of carry them until they can start scaling themselves. I mean, I guess they're always going to be in competition with each other. Either that or a bunch of range. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Choose, wait, six spaces. Hold up. That's a lot. Okay. There we go. Keep adding to the dagger gallery. What else do we have? Move speed, crit chance, but we lose the range. Drink a healing potion. Uh, let's see, I don't think we care about discount cards. We could go for another lifestone as our third. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough, at least for now. I think one of my problems is all of my daggers are kind of de uh, synced up with each other. Now, I think once we get into a target-rich environment, they're... Eh. Yeah, the problem is they all have identical attack speeds, which makes it uh, very easy for me to waste hits.
keep avoiding. It's the lack of range that's actually going to be messing me up. This is no small end here. Oh, that's okay. Uh, put that there. As we'll make him hang out up high. Uh, because we just got another ebony dagger. Yeah, cross volver, crossbow. Crossbows would be interesting. They are a bit big, though. Could get another one of these, but my inventory is starting to get kind of full. But when that when has that ever stopped me? Okay, what are we up to? Oh, it looks like nine. Nine is the upper limit, maybe. Because my crit, uh, my crit chance and attack speed might not go up any higher. Oh well. Oh, the the slimes keep replicating. Okay, sure. I mean, that should actually work really well for me. Hopefully they all count as individual kills, including like the prior stages. It might not, but I sincerely hope they do, just purely for Target rich environment, good dagger damage farming, maybe. There we go. We don't have to worry about damage too much. I hope. Leave that there. Nice. Uh, hmm. Mm, that sucks. There we go. I knew I could do it, and I knew it wouldn't take too much effort. Because we want more enemies, kind of, sort of, and we definitely want more damage. The problem is what I need, what I need is oodles of range. Okay. We've... I only killed three elites here. The one problem is I pretty much just have to hang out directly next to enemies. Otherwise, my daggers don't have enough range here. At least that uh, that little bit of regen is working. I'll have to keep that in mind for uh, future runs. That just like a little bit of regen is all I need to actually do well. I think I kind of wish a lot of the loot in this was randomly generated Diablo style. Like, give me the same, uh, make it a virtually identical in terms of like its core functionality. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna do that so I can rotate this, and we're good. Uh, let's see, do we want a ring of power? Like 5% extra damage, it's okay. It's okay. What is this? Poison vial, crit chance, reduce life steal. Nah. T4 sword. Yeah, the problem is T4, it just does more damage. Like more damage is nice, but it's hard to care about. 
Like, it's it's not exciting to find a T4 weapon. Like, yeah, obviously it's more damage, but it's not going to lure me away because it doesn't do anything fancy. Um, like, one of the reasons why Backpack Hero is so, so exciting is you find, like, one of the rare weapons, and you're just like, oh, I need to, like, actually care kind of hard about this because there isn't anything else more interesting than this, and there might never be for the rest of the run. And it quickly begs the question of, like, do I reconfigure my entire build to fit this this new and weird item into my lineup? And oftentimes the answer is no, but sometimes it's yes. And I think this is lacking some of that, I don't want to say energy. There we go. The one thing is, we do have another ebony dagger. Oh, we do also have a spyglass. We have three space. How do I utilize it? So I'm pretty sure I can get this looking glass in here somehow. Usually where I get get those comments like I was screaming at the camera uh the video like just do this there we go got it because yeah we need that range my daggers are far too short range for my tastes we lose a little bit of dodge chance but that's fine range that range of attack increased by 10 considering their usual range is 32 yeah stacking a couple of these might actually make a huge difference in terms of my ability to fight Yep, massive already. Because now my daggers actually have something to hit consistently. And especially on a slime territory. Oh, it's good. I don't like the uh, homing... The homing attacks. It feels like they need to uh, chill out after a little while. And they kind of do, but it's like a little too slow to chill out. Okay, we got some food, though. That part's nice. Okay, we also get another dagger. No, better yet. Maybe I could have done that better. Yeah, we also have another great demon skull. I might have to pass on it, though. I just don't think I have the space. Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get it in. We'll just do another level. I'd like to get some more of those... Uh looking glasses, and I'm probably going to re-roll hard for them. I don't think I need more daggers at this point. Because the ones I've got do a decent chunk of damage, just owing to the fact that they are st starting to accrue enough damage bonuses, and then the extra percentages help. There we go. Mostly, I can just kind of chop through the crowd. I just, some really long range would mean even more destruction, because I do the oodles of damage, it's just a matter of hitting them all. But if I can do that... Then we 
are good. All right. Looks like we're fine. Uh, we get another great demon skull. All right. Shall I just continue to be a needless individual? Sure. More enemies, more damage. But I am going to have to go rolling for those uh, looking glasses. Otherwise, I'm going to run into problems. I was hoping for some more slimes, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, that little bit of regen is really nice, too. Like, we're taking a hit every once in a while, but it's not enough to keep me down. And so I'm usually able to get back up to full health. Before I take the next hit. It's no guarantee, and it's probably going to get worse at some point. As we get progressively more overwhelmed, but eh. Uh, let's see. Piercing? No. There. I can get this dagger out, put it in. <laughs> I think that was my most recent one. Wow. Okay, this is working. Um... Because yeah, even this is my most recent one, and it's already picked up three. Uh, ooh. This one's actually maybe worth it. Move some things around a little bit. Can I? Um, I don't think I quite can. Do we want the wing boots? Not overwhelmingly. Like, they're nice. Ooh. 20% EXP gain, though. I'll pick that up. And then I should stop. We got another great demon skull. But at this point, I, I don't want it. And I like the slimes. The slimes are the perfect weapon to fight with the daggers. Okay, DPS EXP gain. I'm not sure what EXP the EXP percentage in the corner signifies exactly. Ow. 14 damage. Like I said, eventually it's going to get a bit more painful as some of these enemies start getting at me, but on the flip side, that's okay too. Like it doesn't it doesn't really matter if I win or lose on this run. I I like what this game has to offer. I think the main issue is just it is a little thin content wise, and it desperately needs more. Hey, we get some food. That's nice. What is this thing? Oh. Move that over. I leveled up a lot there. Talon, projectile power. Nope. That's not helpful. Uh, let's see. Another one of these is, though. Move this over. Buy a healing potion. There's the boots. We do also have the dragon's blood elixir. Yeah, do we want to get the winged boots? I think we do. Uh, let's see. More of these. Warhammer. Could be fun, but I just don't care. Yeah, I think I'm just going to roll down and quaff a bunch. Unless, of course, maybe we lose one of these. To get another one of these. 
Okay, I think I think that's it. So we lose a little bit of a regen, but it's not really helping that much. Okay, let's just hope my madcap damage is enough to churn through these elites. There goes one of them. There goes two of them. Oh, who's that dude? I don't know. New enemy type, I, I guess. This is a very strong run for obvious reasons. I, I was considering going for that sword one, seeing as stacking a bunch of those swords would also scale damage really well. Um, and that might actually be just as effective, if not more so, than this. But I do have to say it is kind of fun having a bunch of weapons that scale off of themselves, uh, scale off of kills. As, uh, oh boy, I have become quite stabby. Unfortunately, I'm not that durable in the enemies that scale faster than I do. I, I think it really does go back to the whole, uh, game needs more interesting equipment. Okay, what is this? Crit chance and attack speed for every adjacent glove? No. Yeah, no, we're, we're, you've just hit the upper limit. There are, just aren't more interesting items that we're finding. I could keep stacking more of these daggers, and that might actually still be kind of good. But, eh, it's fine. So, I think I'm just going to leave it here. This run can probably continue for a while, but it's not getting more exciting. Like, maybe I can add some more daggers in the mix. Maybe I can keep scaling my stats. So the daggers I already have scale even better. I think the thing that would help most at this point... I mean, raw damage. Uh, I'm still thinking range. Because if I can if I can hit things from ages away, then I should also have a ton of strike through to do like oodles of damage. But yeah, let's just uh, let's just give everything the hug. Because uh, being able to hit hit super far away would help. Okay, so we also do have the wizard and the hunter. Ten range can unequip melee weapons. Projectile power from modifications are better. Vitality is less effective. Okay, what about the wizard? Magic power, magic po modification is better, melee is less effective. Okay, and then other characters. I guess let's take a look at the hunter. What is this? Monolith of Wishes. Okay, so this has unlocked some things. Including characters. Can't do anything with that, though. It looks like there's supposed to be meta progression, but I suppose there's not. Unless there's something in here. What is this? The armory. Oh. These are the weapons I haven't unlocked yet. So that requires a key. That just requires... Okay, so there there is some stuff to this. Ooh. Medallion of Might, though. Thunder Spear. Polearm Enchanted. Oh, and there's also a second... Uh, second page. Ooh. 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 Yeah, some of these are real fun, actually. Or at least look like they'd be pretty fun. Projectile explode on impact. I'm just gonna grab the gun, and we'll grab the medallion of might. And that'll be that, at least for now. I don't know if there's more for me to interact with, at least at the moment, but it is nice to know that there is more stuff kind of there, and eventually will be available. For now, though, uh, if you guys want to try the, uh, oh gosh, I'm pretty, yeah, God of Weapons. If you guys want to try the God of Weapons demo yourselves, is available on Steam, uh, I think is part of the next fest, which is probably still going on when this video goes out, but I believe the demo might also just be up for a while longer. It's solid, it needs work, uh, but what's been presented as kind of a fusion between Vampire Survivors and Backpack Hero uh, has a lot of promise. It just needs more weapons, more interesting weapons, and I still think some passive perks to really, like, put you down a specific path. You know, if you find one that specifically changes your scaling, or it's like, hey, all of your daggers now spin around you instead, and so you just become, like, a, a roving chainsaw, chainsaw saw blade man, like, that, that's what I'm looking for, and that can either be equipment, or that could be, like, a cool passive that, uh, just shows up every couple of stages or something, or every couple of levels, maybe. Ooh, what if, what if there were unique nodes on your inventory that when you unlock them, they give you a perk, and, um, 
or they give you a choice of perks. So it could be anywhere from, you know, one of three damage stat, uh, one of three stats, uh, a really unique passive here and there. And so there's a reason to weirdly spider your inventory out further than you, than you normally would. Because mostly it's best to just go for a giant block. But if you see like a node um, four or five levels away that's like, hey, this is one of those like elite perks, grab it. Uh, I would go out of my way specifically for that, and I think that would be really compelling in its own way. I don't know. I just think that would be the easiest way to fit it all in and also uh, keep things kind of nice and dynamic, but who knows? For now, though, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. Love that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.